Hey guys, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. In this video, we're going to be creating this awesome looking text effect inside of GIMP. Now, if you watch my previous video on text effects in GIMP, GIMP 2.10.2 new feature as 2 out of 3, this uses the recursive transform tool to create a 3D effect. We're going for something similar, but this is going to use a different filter and this new filter is so much better so I want you guys to stop using that old technique and start using this new one and it's basically very bold text using Tahoma bold but use whatever kind of text you want it doesn't have to be bold it doesn't have to be this font we're gonna to go to the text layer and we're gonna duplicate that and then the duplicate layer we're gonna to go to layer layer to image size this is key we'll duplicate that a couple of times and then we'll switch off all the text layers we're gonna not use the text anymore we're gonna use this baby here we'll go to filter light and shadow long shadow and it creates this beautiful 3d effect we're going to use it as a shadow effect and also as a 3d effect let's change the angle to 120 the length is going to be 25 now the color is the color that we're getting from the foreground I'm just gonna go and switch off make sure that the text is switched off and we're going to choose composition shadow minus image that gives us this cool cool looking effect and we're gonna hit OK and I'm just going to duplicate that. So we've got these two layers that are just showing the shadow or 3D effect. Let's switch those off and go back to the original text. And once again, we'll go to filters, reshow long shadow. And we'll type in an angle of 120. And this time I'm going to once again choose shadow minus image and we'll choose style fading that gives us this kind of effect and we're gonna hit OK now I'm gonna go to the top turn that on go to the layer that we created before and you can see we've got a nice 3d text effect I'm gonna give it a little bit more punch let's go on ahead and switch these guys off and turn on this guy here once again reshow the filter and change the angle to 120 and once again we're gonna choose fading this time I'm gonna keep the original image shadow plus image we'll hit OK and we'll turn on the other layer which we really don't need now but turn that on we'll turn on the second shadow layer and the text layer and that gives us this really deep deep 3d shadowy effect very simple to do and you know you can switch off different parts of it you might switch off that you might switch off this it still kind of works so if you want a really subtle effect just switch everything off except the shadow so you've got like three designs in one right there so that's basically how you do it I think it's an awesome filter it's a lot faster it's a heck of a lot faster than the recursive transform and definitely start using this one for your 3d and shadow effects it's awesome that's gonna be it for this one till next time take care bye